It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking discount and tax as we find out what we're going to pay after applying discount and tax. Here's our question. This question has two parts. Here's part A. The price of a hammer at a local hardware store is $20. The store is offering a 15% discount off the price of the hammer. There is also a 6% sales tax applied after any discounts on all purchases. You're asked what will be the final cost in dollars of the hammer, including the discount and the sales tax. I'd like you to pause the video here, do your best to answer the question, and then come back to see the solution. Welcome back. So when we look at this, we know that we're trying to find the final cost of the hammer to us. In the store, the hammer is listed at $20. That's the price on the hammer. And they have a sale. We're going to pay 15% discount off the price of the hammer. So we're taking 15% off the 20. Then they're charging us a 6% sales tax after the discount. So we're going to have a 15% coupon or discount off the hammer. And then we need to pay 6% sales tax. When we start this, I'm going to show you two different methods. Here's method one. We're going to start with the original price of the hammer, which is $20. We are going to find 15% of this 20 because we got to find out what 15% is of 20 to take it away off the price of our hammer. 15% written as a decimal. You move the decimal point two spaces to the left or divide by 100 and you get 0 0.15. 20 on your calculator, 20 multiplied by 0 0.15 is equal to three or three dollars. So that's the amount of the discount the store is giving us. So we're going to subtract that three dollars from the original 20 and that is seventeen dollars. Now we're not done because we have to pay for our tax. We need to find six percent of this discounted amount so we're going to multiply by this written as a decimal. So if I take my decimal point and I move it two spaces to the left it's going to be 0 0.06 is the decimal equivalent of 6%. On your calculator, 17 multiplied by 0 0.06 is equal to a dollar two. Now this is tax that we have to pay in addition to the hammer cost. So we're going to add the one dollar and two cents to the $17, which gives us a final cost of eighteen dollars and two cents. So that is our answer to part A, $18.02. Now let's look at this using another method. So we're going to talk about this, just a second method that we could do. We're still looking, it's the same part A question, we're finding the final cost on a hammer that costs $20 with a 15% discount and 6% sales tax after the discount. So if we start with our $20, now let's talk about this 15% discount. If we take 15% off the item, we know that we're actually paying 85% of the 20. So if we multiply 20 by this written as a decimal, 0 0.85, in your calculator, 20 times 0 0.85 is 17, which is what we got the last time. So instead of finding 15% and subtracting it, we can say, well, we know if we're taking 15% off, then we're paying 85% of 20. Now we have our sales tax to add on to this $17. So when we're taking the sales tax, we're adding that onto this. So we're paying the $17 plus 6%. So we can look at that as paying 106%. We're gonna pay 100% of the 17 plus 6%. So if we multiply 17 by 106%, written as a decimal, 1.06, multiply on your calculator, you're going to get $18.02, just as we did with method one, but a little bit less math. So the final cost in dollars of our hammer, including the discount and the sales tax, is $18.02. Here's part B. The same hammer is available from an online retailer. If a customer uses a discount code that offers a 25% discount and free shipping, the hammer will cost $17.25. There's no sales tax if the customer buys the hammer online. We're asked, what is the original price of the hammer from the online retailer? Please pause your video now, 
do your best work, and then come back to see the solution. Welcome back. So on this one, we're finding the original price of the hammer. We're given the sales price, the discounted price, and we need to go back to what the original price was. We know that they, we've received a discount code for 25% discount or 25% off, and that we paid $17.25 because there's no sales tax. So here's one method or method one that we're gonna use. We're gonna understand that what we don't know is the original price of the hammer. That's our X. But we do know that we're gonna, if we're paying 25% discount, we're gonna pay, I mean, we take that away, we're gonna pay 75% of this unknown amount. So if we take 25% off, we pay 75% of. So this unknown original price multiplied by 75% as a decimal is going to be equal to our sales price of 1725. So now we want to solve for x, so we're going to do the inverse of multiply by 0 0.75 and divide each side by 0 0.75. So we're left with x and when we use our calculator 17.25 divided by 0 0.75 x is equal to 23, and we see that the original price of our hammer is $23 on sale for $17.25 after the 25% discount, which we paid 75% of, of $23. All right, let's look at another way to look at this. Here's our method two. We're still finding the original price of the hammer. There's a discount of 25%, and a sales price or a discounted price of $17.25. So method two could get us looking at all of our answer choices. So we have four answer choices here, and these all represent potentially the original price of the hammer. When we look at choice A, we can see that this is less than the sales price. So there's no way that answer A could be the right answer because if we discount this price, there's no, it's gonna be less than $12.94, not more, so we can rule that choice out. Now, if we look at 1975 and we understand that we're gonna pay 75% of the original price of the hammer, if this was the original price of the hammer and we multiplied it by 0 0.75, the 75% we're paying, written as a decimal, 19.75 multiplied by 0 0.75 on your calculator gives you 1481. That is not what we paid. So we're gonna eliminate that answer choice. Now we have answer choice C. We're gonna take this amount, which represents the original price of the hammer potentially, multiply it by our 75% written as a decimal, and we're gonna get $16.17, which is also not 17.25, so not our correct answer. 23 multiplied by our 75% that we pay is going to be equal to 17.25, and there we have it, the hammer costs $17.25 after the discount, so it's answer choice D. And that's another way of looking at it. All right, that is how we find discount and tax of an item on sale online without tax and in the store with tax. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.